So like many things in life, I had some pretty big goals this summer and did not get to all of them. One of those was to set up a dedicated campsite for this camper that we purchased for the Derby Canyon Retreat. I'm going to be building a roof for it and creating a semi-permanent area that's got protection as well as uh, a roof over the head of this camper so that it can last for as long as possible. When I realized the snow was coming and I am not going to be able to build that structured roof this year, I figured I better make some kind of temporary roof because we get well over five feet of snow up here at the Derby Canyon Retreat in the winter months, and that could very well cave in the roof on this camper and cause structural damage and basically render it useless. So this was my solution. Here I am, stringing a tarp between two trees with the hopes that it will shed enough snow to basically protect and save this camper through the winter months. So as you can see here, I've strung up a fairly decent sized rope between two string, uh, true trees I should say, and have a fairly heavy duty ratchet strap because the rope I'm using does tend to stretch and it will certainly give over time. So I wanted the ability to adjust it, to be able to tighten it, and after a month or so, uh, after the rope is stretched, to come back and tighten it more and frankly just get as much tension on that line as I can. Now I will say that I bought this tarp online and it is thinner than I expected. So I am very much concerned that I will get too much snow cover, too much weight, and that it could potentially uh, render my plan useless. But I'm curious as to what you guys think. Do you think that this structure, the way that I'm suspending that tarp, the angle of that tarp, and with all the connections that you'll see me add throughout, will it stand up to the snow? Will it shed enough of it between the slope, the breeze, maybe a little bit of movement to keep it down? Or do you guys think that I'm going to come up here and find myself a camper that is no longer usable and in rough shape? Comments in the uh, comment section. I'd love to hear your feedback. What should I have done differently? What should I have done better? Uh, hopefully, we'll still have the ability to build that dedicated site for this camper next season.